Hey guys, um, I got a request to do like a super quick routine um, for all you mommies out there. I know I'm a mom and sometimes I don't have all the time in the world to um, get ready. So um, I'm just gonna come up with this like simple like routine that should only take um, probably about 15 minutes to do. Uh, I've already started, I primed my face with this Milani Prime Shield. Um, I used this in my last video. Um, it's really good for your face. It keeps um, your makeup held in the right position so it's not moving throughout the day. Um, sorry if it takes me a minute to like find like my brushes because they're in a bag right now. So we're just going to have to work with that. Anyway, um, I'm going to go in with my Milani Conceal and Perfect. It's my foundation. Um, this might be a little bit off for me today, but I'm planning on going tanning soon. It's just not happened yet. Um, <laughs> mommy life, you can't do anything. Ever. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this and I'm gonna fast forward through it. It's always gonna take me um, a tad bit longer just because like I have like acne scarring and like stuff like that to cover up so um, forgive me if I'm taking a little bit long on just my foundation. that is done we're gonna go in with a concealer again I'm gonna be using the Glamouflage by Hard Candy Oops, sorry this one and I'm gonna be using an Urban Decay Naked 2 brush it's like it just is so easy to apply it with this okay I'm gonna go ahead and get started what I like to do is put <coughs> Like take out like a little glob and then just like dab it on the back of my hand just so if um, it like pushes out too much product or whatever you can just kind of like suck it back into the tube um, so let me go ahead and do this Some people will probably skip this step, but I'm not gonna do that because I know that as a mom, I'm tired all the time and my bags are hell crazy. So, that's gonna, that's happening. We're doing that. Continuing to make myself look even more like a weirdo. Um, usually, I, you can go in with like that cream contour palette thingy that I showed last time and do all this, but I'm not trying to go through a million steps today. I'm just kind of trying to make it like so simple so that you know it's not going to take forever for people. And the only reason that this video is taking so long is the fact that I am talking through it. So. We're just gonna go ahead and grab our beauty blender. Mine isn't wet. It's actually, um, I mean, it's damp-ish. It's not like super wet, super dry, anything like that. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and dab that everywhere and blend it out. And then um, I'm not going to like hard contour my face like with the, the cream um just because nobody has time for that during the day I mean sometimes I do sometimes I don't but like I said this is kind of going to be like a fast mommy routine um 
so I'm just going to I should like already have these products out but I don't <laughs> so next next time I do a video I probably do that so I'm going to take my elf translucent powder and a big fluffy brush this is a studio M brush I think I got this from like Meyer. so all my northern people go ahead go and get it go and get it in there so anyway you just want to want to set your entire face because if you don't like look how this side like looks shiny and then this side doesn't and that's what the setting powder is for um, is to mattify your face. Okay, now that that is done, uh, we're gonna go with bronzer and give ourselves a quick contour. Um, obviously, you know, nothing too crazy, nothing too glam. Um, I'm gonna go in with this blush brush. It's an angled brush from e.l.f. Actually, is this my angled brush? No, this is not my angled brush. It's um a tapered brush, I think is what it's called. Um, but yeah, obviously we're gonna do exactly what you think, tap off the excess, and just put it on the bottom of your cheekbone. You don't want to go too far down because you still want like a space um, on your face. Um, and then make sure you're doing it in circles um, so that it blends it out. Okay, cool, super simple. Um, you can do blush if you want, you can skip it. I mean, it's totally, completely up to you. Um, I'm probably gonna put some on just because, I mean, I'm doing this tutorial and everything, but I'm still doing a full face later on. So I'm just gonna do this for the, the video and then I'm gonna add on to it. So it's gonna not be so simple like when I'm done. Which, if I had time for that video, I probably would do it, but. And again, with um, the blush, what I'm using is a NYX um, in the color peach. Um, and then I'm obviously just taking it from my little cheeky here and bringing it up to my hairline. And just kind of blending that out. Okay, and I'd say that any of the steps past the um, setting of the face, like when I use that translucent powder, all of that stuff is, all, all the stuff that's past that is optional. Um, you don't have to do it. Um, just like, I'm going to highlight my face. Um, like I said, completely optional. You don't have to do it. Um, completely up to you, but I'm just gonna go in with smiling. Everybody knows that I like to glow. I am putting all of my highlight exactly where I highlighted with um, my concealer that I used. Um, I start in with the liquid. It's from Becca. This is Becca Opal. Um, I start in with the liquid and I um, obviously I like dab it out so that it doesn't look harsh or whatever. And then I go over top of that with the powder. Like I said, all of this is completely optional. You don't have to, you know, put blush on or highlight or anything like that. I mean, because obviously if you're a busy mom, then, you know, sometimes you don't have time for that. But, I mean, if you have the extra time, you know, go for it. Because everybody likes to feel glowy and beautiful. I mean, not that you're not beautiful anyway, because you are, girl. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just... Let me 
this. And then now I'm gonna go in with this powder and I'll be using the Bare Essentials ID Flawless Fan Brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put some product on there and then go over my cheekbone. I just need a moment of silence. Ah! <laughs> that is as cool as some good stuff. Mm, yes. Okay. That's amazing. Like, seriously. Oh, I love it. Right, anyway, <laughs> let's not make it weird, Shelby. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go in with eyebrows, like I said, completely optional. You don't have to do it if you don't have the time for it. Um, but obviously, like, I'm making this, and right now I'm at 13 minutes, and that's with me talking. So, and I'm already, like, grand majority done because with eyes, I'm literally just gonna do, like, something super simple and put some mascara on, set my face, and pfft, done so I mean really you could probably without talking and distraction stuff you could probably get this whole look done within 20 minutes and that's with like all these add-ons that I'm adding on so let's do it okay so I'm going in with the NYX tame and frame I'm using the color brunette um, it's kind of a little bit dark for me um, right now but I mean it's fine. I'm about to color my hair anyway, so I'm really not worried about it. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and dive in. <laughs> right now, I'm actually using that brush that I said I hated in my last video. Um, it's the L'Oreal Paris one. Um, it's not bad for this, cause it's not, um, like when you do like the eyeliner, obviously you want something that's flat and this isn't, this is rounded, so. Um, so, like I said, eyebrows are optional, um, but this next step, if you are doing eyebrows, is not optional because you gotta clean that up. So, again, I'm gonna take my um, Glamouflage from Hard Candy and dip it onto the back of my hand. Dip it. Put it on the back of my hand. Look at me trying to get all fancy. Anyway, um, so you're gonna wanna, you know, like I said, like in the last video, if you watched that, you um, basically outline um, your eye and then you can bring it down onto your eyelid and it will act kind of like as a primer. Um, so let me go ahead and dive into that. those are outlined um, still have product left in my hand so like I said you can just take the bottle squeeze just a little bit and then you can just go like that with the product I don't know if you can even see that but just go like this with the product and it kind of just sucks it like back into it so that you aren't wasting product okay so then next I am going to just take a simple palette that I have and kind of go over it, the entire lid with um, a like a white or a cream color and then I'm going to probably do like a brown in my crease just in my crease um, do a quick black eyeliner do some mascara you know spray my face with some setting spray um, probably just throw in some either chapstick 
or um, some just like lip gloss, whatever, like it doesn't really matter. And then I'm all set. So I mean, really, there's not a lot left to do. So I'm gonna just do it and fast forward through it so that you can kind of um, just be done with it. So see you in a little bit. Right, and there you have it. Um, it's just a simple everyday look. Obviously, um, some of these steps were absolutely optional. Um, you don't have to take every single step that I did. Um, but I did all of this under 30 minutes. Um, and obviously, you'd have to take away some time that I'm talking or, you know, like whatever. But then, Again, obviously I said that, you know, some of the steps are optional. Um, so yeah, if you like my video, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up. And uh, make sure you leave me some comments down in um, the comment section below. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm trying to put out new videos every single week. Um, obviously, it's going to depend on um, your guys' suggestions. Um, and I have been holding off on doing a video because I've been waiting for my Morphe. Um, eyeshadow palettes. Um, I just ordered them. I'm expected to get them Saturday because I'm going to do some awesome like fall looks. So um, yeah, I'm really excited that um, I started this channel. Um, it's been super, super awesome. Um, I've been getting lots of support from everybody and so I really, really, really appreciate that. Um, like I said, subscribe. Thanks.